French Navy wasn't prepared, that's obvious from what happened in history, but it should have been prepared. They'd been at sea for two and a half months trying to evade the British fleet and get up to the channel. They had time to practice uh, using the great big guns that all the ships carried and to rehearse sailing, uh, man manipulating the sails in order to get through. If the British had lost the battle, the French fleet which had gone up the channel, picking up reinforcements from every naval port they came to and pushing aside the British blockade and secured the crossing between the French invasion port of Boulogne and their target on the English coast, whichever port that might have been, probably Pevensey, because that's advantageous for the tides and there's a big beach and it was already defended. The British had ploughed a lot of effort into defending Dover but it's an untenable idea, you can't land infantry at the bottom of the cliff. The British, the whole British strategy, grand strategy, was that the fleet would stop any invaders at sea. If they got through the fleet, there were not enough troops to stop them. There was a garrison in Dover where they'd gone to great expense to provide accommodation and uh, stairways leading down to the beaches below the cliffs, but no man in their right mind would attack there. Um, the rest of the country was in a real panic. They conducted a survey along the south coast to see what weapons were available in private hands. They even resorted to counting carpenters' chisels to see if they would be, in a, they would be able to help. Imagine it, a man with a chisel up against a, an old guard veteran with a bayonet on a long gun. It's just ridiculous. They'd have been absolutely marvelized. Napoleon always liked to go for the capital to seize the reins of government. Uh, in this instance, it would have taken less than less than a week to get to London and take control of it. Uh, once he'd got London and could bend the rest of his country, to, he then had to enforce his control. So take charge of the armament factories in the north and the Midlands, take charge of the naval bases along the south coast. Uh, remember to go very far in the world, you have to have a navy at this time. Napoleon uh, brought together a huge force, a huge army, in, in Boulogne, in the, in the hinterland of Boulogne, 177,000 men. He assembled a fleet of 2,000 barges to take the troops across the channel. The three sides, three sorts of barges. There was a sail powered 125 foot uh, beneath with uh, a drawbridge at the front to let the troops down onto the beach. Uh, the middle sized barge uh, would carry horses and guns and stores and then small ones to small barges to carry 60 men apiece. He even timed, got, got the embarkation timing down to a fine art. They timed 25,000 men, 25,000 men getting on their barges in less than 20 minutes. That's an incredible feat which we weren't even able to replicate in World War II.